hello guys how are you in the house welcome to your channel in case you are watching for the first time my name is Daoli Shalalawa and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture uh, today I want to talk briefly on a topic in oil palm production I want to talk about water stress uh, water stress the effect of water stress on oil palm performance and oil palm production so as you all know Oil palm is a very, very hardy crop. Yes, it's very hardy. But despite its hardiness, it still has its own limits. So when, when I say hardiness, hardiness means something being rugged. It's a rugged crop, yes. But despite its ruggedness, it still has its limits. When you go beyond the limit, it will break. So that's just it. And talking about water stress, water management in oil palm production. So research has shown that uh, whenever you are able to grow oil palm in its ecological zone, as in the ecological zone of oil palm is where it will have adequate rainfall and adequate sunshine throughout the year. And that is one of the factors which makes Malaysia and Indonesia to be on top in oil palm production uh, is not the only factor is is a major factor that is making making them to lead because the climate on all the weather condition the climate in indonesia and malaysia is the one that the sun shines all through the year and they have close to 10 months of rain throughout the year so and this is a perfect match for oil palm Oil palm doesn't want water locked, but it wants, uh, it needs a, a constant supply of water to make it perform excellently. So talking about water stress, what are those things that will make your trees or your plantation to suffer water stress? Number one. Number one is when you plant outside the agroecological zone. Remember in one of my videos, I've mentioned it that the oil palm uh, belt in Nigeria is 19 states. And any place beyond Abuja or Kaduna, don't try and grow oil palm. Don't try and grow oil palm. It will not survive economically. It will not produce economically because the water stress will be just too much. So when you establish your farm outside its ecological zone it will suffer water stress another factor that will make your farm or oil palm farm to suffer water stress is you establishing during the dry season when there is no rain when you do this the young seedling will suffer shock apart from you you will be losing most of them and the one that has that, that will survive, they will suffer water stress in the later year. And this one will hamper their productivity. So those are the things, those are the major things that will that will that will bring about water stress in uh, oil palm production. So how do we ensure that uh, the palm or our farm don't suffer water shock or water stress? You don't plant outside the ecological zone. You plant where there is uh, constant rain, you know, all this kind of thing. And if you have the means, so Nepa just took light. I, I just want to improvise. Uh, let me round up this video. So if you have the means, you can put up uh, irrigation on your farm. You do a kind of irrigation along drip irrigation. So, and also research has shown that irrigated Farm, irrigated oil palm farm that receive water all through the year round it will it is capable of increasing your production by over 20 percent so what are the effects what are the effects of uh, water stress or water shock if your plants or your oil palm uh, suffer what from water stress number one of it is that at the seedling stage at the initial stage you will lose most of them 
So when they are grown trees and they are suffering water stress, is that you will be having a whole lot of uh, flower dying. You know, in oil palm, the male flower will come out first, then it will fertilize itself before you see the fruit. So those male flower will not turn to fruit. Most of them will not turn to fruit. That is one of the consequences of water stress. So if you have like uh, 16, 16 flowers, male flowers on your tree, and you are seeing only three bunches or four bunches, is as a result of water stress. Those trees are suffering from water stress. And another thing is that when water stress happens after the fruiting, the fruiting uh, will be also affected. It will affect the ripening and you will see a whole lot of patches happening around and the oil content of the bunches will reduce. So those are the things that happen when your farm or your oil palm farm suffers from water stress. With this, I've come to the end of today's uh, topic and I hope you got value one way or the other. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your attention and see you on my next video. Shishi.